Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cash view. This is a dual die cash view of the 2022 Alex Bowman uh, dollar ten throwback. We've actually already reviewed this car in the four car set for Hendrick or for the Hendrick throwback. So we may not go too far into detail, but at the same time, it's been quite some time since I've actually done uh, that review. So. I don't like, okay, so I know I'm going to review one of them. I don't know which one. Probably just the metal chassis just because it's a different one. Uh, but if I do one, I'm not going to review the other one. Just knock it out in both videos. That way it's on the channel for record. Uh, the only difference is, like legit, the only difference, the box, the weight, and the underplate for the car. That's it. The box has metal or die cast body and chassis, adult collectible, and then it has uh, the metal plate on the bottom. And the Cup Series logo is moved over to the left instead of it being on the right for the standard box. And it just weighs a little more. That's it. That's all the differences. And actually, I just made a mistake of uh, ordering... And I just realized... I made the mistake of ordering the Junior... Or not Junior, what in the world? The Bowman. God, not Junior. The Bowman Day Car and Night Car and Best Friends Car without ordering the Metal Chassis Edition... Which is interesting. I may wait till Black Friday just to do that because I know they'll have some deals. But anyway, on to the actual dual die cash review. The top one is just your standard card. The bottom one is uh, your metal chassis. So we're going to pop both cars out of the boxes and just do a comparison even though there's not really much to compare. Athena, if you would get down, that would be nice. Stop biting me. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so... It's it's not like any difference. So we're gonna get both of these out of the box, uh, kind of take a look at them, really kind of show the difference, which again isn't a lot. Uh, we'll review one, and then we'll just kind of call it a video there. Here's the die cast out of the box. Now, of course, you can't even really tell which one's which. Now, before back in 2021, you could because they had rubber tires. Why they don't have rubber tires now? I couldn't tell you. I don't know if it was too expensive or what. But man, I really, really wish they could make the rubber tires for uh, Gen 7, Gen 6. Well, they did Gen 6, but I mean Gen 7, I meant like 2023, 20, 2022. Uh, but they can't, and I don't know why, but I wish they could. That makes stop motion so much more interesting. That makes it so much, well not so much, but it makes it worth more of the $15.00. It just, it makes it more valuable, it makes it better, and it makes it more worth it. It's just not, not very fun. Not fun spending $15 because it's a favorite driver. Well, your favorite driver in particular. Uh, but you can't even tell which one's which. I kind of forgot which one was which. Uh, so we're really going to just kind of pick it up. Ooh, it's this one. That's the metal chat. Just kidding. This is the metal chassis one. See, I couldn't even tell. Uh, but yeah, so the only difference is you can see... If I can focus, you can see the top one is super shiny just because it's the metal base, and other one's kind of dull because it's plastic. So that and that's it. That's all there is to offer. No rubber tires, no nothing, just a little hunk of metal on the bottom to make it, uh, quote unquote, a elite diecast. So yeah, there's that. So no, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so we do have the throwback tires. This was a throwback to Mark Martin in the Valvoline car. What? There's a chunk missing from the four on the 48 on the roof. You see that? <sighs> on the metal chassis, by the way, the more expensive one. That's that's fun. Uh, that's good times. Uh, anyway, uh, throwback to Mark Martin in the Valvoline car. I don't know why. Now, I get it because of probably contract. But Bowman has the Valvoline sponsor. Why did you not throw the Valvoline sponsor onto the Valvoline throwback? I don't get it. I don't understand. You could have easily swapped the race or something to make it the throwback race for Valvoline. Why didn't you do it? That would have been so much better. That would have been amazing. But they didn't. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of crap, but, you know, it is what it is. It's been done and over with. Uh, but, yeah, still a pretty cool little car. Or paint scheme, I guess. It, it's kind of underwhelming, because we've done Mark Martin several times. We've done Jeff Gordon several times. We've done 
Like, I don't know, Bill Elliott several times, Judd Johnson a couple times. I, guess, I don't know. It's Well, actually, uh, Byron's throwback for 2022 and 2023 was actually pretty awesome. Those may have been my two throwback schemes, or my favorite throwback schemes for uh, Hendrick. But anyway, got Ally right there on the hood. Of course, you got Ally once again. I got Bowman there, which looks a little rough around the edges. Got the shabby bow tie. Got the 48 on the roof with the little uh, blue and red stripe. I think that's a little notch taken out of the 40 or the 48 for whatever reason. Somebody took a little a little chomp. Somebody decided to bite it for whatever reason. Bowman on the rear name banner. Ally do it right on the deck lid. Of course, you got the Ally do it right once again. On the back end, Camaro Z01 Valvoline 48. Of course, you got the taillights and the bow tie. Pop rivets on the back of the spoiler. Hendricars.com, do it right, Valvoline, some little tribute thing. Uh, his Las Vegas win sticker there. Alex Bowman, Acronis, I wish he still had that sponsor. Alex Salsa, Cincinnati, that one too, that was a good one. Freightliner, Mac Tools, and Simon Zare, got Ally 48, very nice and big on the side, which is what we like to see. Let's see here, got NASCAR, throwback weekend, I think that's what that says. Maybe, or throwback week, something like that. And then NASCAR salutes, got the Goodyear logo there, Goodyear tires, a little bit of uh, kind of debris, I guess, on the front end in the white. I mean, it's it's Lionel. It's white. It's hard to do. Um, from experience, I know working with a white paint is kind of painful. So I, I kind of let Lionel slide a little bit because white picks up everything. That's just how it goes. That's why the race wins on the white cars look so good. I mean, that's just the way it is. So I got the front end here. Of course, you got the 48. Uh, Hendrick there, got the little stripes going across the nose, got the headlights, all that fun stuff. But yeah, so I mean, it's it's a good throwback. It's kind of underwhelming, I guess, because Junior ran a throwback to a Valvoline scheme like that, even though he had Valvoline on the car, which was better, because obviously it's the same sponsor. But we've seen several Valvoline paint schemes and throwbacks over the years, uh, so hopefully he gets kind of better ones. His probably, his, honestly, he's probably like the worst throwback I've seen. No disrespect to Greg Ives, but it's probably the 2021 throwback. It's just, it's not really appealing. I just, I'm just saying. Uh, but anyway, so I still like the paint scheme a lot. I'm actually going to uh, get out the other one. This is the metal chassis. This is the normal. So I'm actually going to do a side by side, or not side by side. I'm going to just kind of zoom out here. Get a thumbnail material pick that I can kind of work with, and we'll go from there. So, I mean, yeah, it's not very great with how these metal chassis cars are made. Again, it used to be worth it because you get the metal tire, or metal tires, Jesus, the metal base and the rubber tires. The rubber tires, tires in itself was worth it. But I guess they don't want to remake them, so I'm not really too sure. But yeah, there you go. That's the uh, dual review for the Alex Bowman uh, throwback race for 2022. Again, I made the mistake for not ordering like the last three paint schemes that came out. I kind of forgot they existed, honestly. I forgot the whole metal chassis thing was a thing. <laughs> so that's kind of why I didn't get it. But nonetheless, they're good schemes, good throwbacks. I just hope they kind of do better. Uh, throughout the years but with that being said i do believe that will be all for this diecast review thank you all so much for watching i really hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in the next video